Hm. Jason said I'm supposed to tell you what I found behind. I took some. There's like a whole palette of acorn squash. I think. They're green, they're orange. So, a lot of times stuff will get rejected. It's not really the driver's in a hurry, no way to get rid of it, try to give it away. It ends up behind the truck stop. Okay. I think I know what I ordered. I think this is a neck buff. Should be real. Jason trying to get me to go to Lowe's with him again. So he's taking measurements. I keep seeing they order, or they ship. You can order and ship. Huh. It's supposed to be marina wool. No way, this may be the... Oh, it's a wool blend. Huh. It's about this wool. I'm changing up my winter stick. I'm trying to add better stuff to my bag out bag. I don't know what to do in the winter. Stay with the truck until spring happens. Oh, oh. I had ordered wool socks. Usually wool socks are ankle, halfway from your ankle to your knee, and they're thick, and they have that seam at the toe that chafes your boot or chafes your toes. Or this is a wool blend. That's marina wool. Of course, they're empty. One, two. But there's sports socks. One. So I don't wear boots. One, two. I just figured my feet are going to get wet if I ever have to walk home. One, two. There's like a bee on my phone. Three. Oh, he almost walked over the camera. Oh, oh, he saw him. Maybe he saw him. He's walking over the camera. Like this, right? You, you gotta see a bee butt. See, what else do you find behind truck stops? Oh, should I tell this story? Okay, anyways. <laughs> There's also bad things behind truck stops. Oh, this is Jason's. Like a lot of times you can find broken seals behind truck stops. And I've often tried to lock my trailers. But you have to find the right lock. That's cool. That's Jason's. They're Envelopes you can write on. Now these seals, I guess because I'm walking a dog. It's never happened to me before, it's made broke my seal. I mean, somebody once opened an empty trailer and then close it back. And actually that's happened quite a bit. But this is a cashmere right here. I thought I would fix the problem by backing up to other... Oh, oh this is a manual sweater. Yeah. I'm going to something. Alright, so I think I've done the right thing by backing up. I'll use this guy. To another building or a, a abandoned dock or another trailer. You, you try to get as close as you can without touching him. Or like not smashing into the dock and ruining their. 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 They put padding on the dock. I finally, I go to get my trailer last night, somebody opened the door. I don't think they realized how close it was to the building. The building goes up and then there's a roof comes out a little bit. I'm like, like inches from there. I figured they'd probably open the door and try to reach in, see what they could grab. I can't even stick my head in there. Something I have to pull up, find out what happened. Everything that was shrink wrap was still shrink wrap. Everything that was stacked was still stacked. I remember thinking to myself, I should have locked the trailer. I would have lost the seal. I don't think I lost anything else. But that seal <laughs> could be a problem. Yeah. Brokers lose their mind if you lose their, lose their seal. So anyways, I'll share a, a device I found. I, never, I think I might have seen these things before, but I had never really, yeah, I didn't really jump out at me. 
So I've been using locks. Normal everyday locks, like those round ones that go on your, I guess your U-Haul swords bin. They're really hard to cut off. You get a grinder on them, they come right off. What is this? It's a thing. Maybe this is a cashmere gator. Hmm. All right. Denmark, maybe. So got a lumber list for the for the for the arbor. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can we just have that? Uh, can we just order that online and have it delivered? I really don't want to put that in the pickup. We're not going to put it in the pickup. We'll have it delivered. Yes. <laughs> Deliveries. The so, rest of the stuff we're going for is uh, the, the nails that we're going to need. The yeah, you can order those too. Yeah. From anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so anyways. I feel like so, we just pick them up there at the hardware store. You just want to go to the hardware store. So anyways. <laughs> I have to tell my customer that somebody try to break into my trailer. It's like, we don't really call this high value load. Like, if you knew what you were looking at, you might be able to do something with it. But, in, our, in my neighborhood, things you can take to the pawn shop would be high value. You can't take this up to the pawn shop. Or, um... One one that I thought was high value was box wine. They're like, really? It's horrible. I locked that up. <laughs> Dude, wine doesn't land with it. Anyways. Really? So is my knife. Or all my cup. So now I have to put stuff. So now I have to explain to the customer, the broker. Like explain to the unloader. But I didn't have a seal. I got a break into my trailer. So he mentions it to his boss. His boss calls a broker. My dispatcher's calling me. He's kind of young. Kind of panics a lot. Oh, I don't know how he's going to make his dispatcher. The best, yes, best dispatcher I ever had was calm, cool, and collected. But very firm. He's, you know, very matter of factly. He changed the tone of his voice so it's going to be serious. So it's all. Either something really needs to be done or something's really wrong. <laughs> it's not a sweater. But this poor young guy. That time so I was like, oh, I'm gonna do a conference call with the broker. And meanwhile, the receiver is um, downloading. And I asked for the guy who unloaded me. And the one guy who's just standing back there. And I was like, he's like, um, are you the guy who unloaded me? No, it was so and so. It's great because I wanted to ask him if. If, he, if anything came up missing, if anything didn't look right. You know, backpackers should hike with these in their camel bags. So I was thinking, if you're boiling water, you need a place to put it. Then you stick it in your sleeping bag. And you can drink it the next day. I don't know, probably want to clean that out. You yeah, probably clean that out. So once I explain it to the receiver, then never mind, I'm holding my phone in my hand. While signing my versus carrier, and I'm explaining it to the receiver, for my dispatcher's like, "Hey, right, I'm gonna get the broker on the phone." Hello? I pulled the thing out my ear. I was like, well, "Let me talk to the receiver real quick," and they're already on conference call. So I explained to the receiver, you know, I basically I'm backed up to a building kind of like his, and industrial area kind of like there. wasn't that particular one, but it was near there. It was one similar to it, and not too far away. I was like. Yeah. So I'm waiting for a package to come tomorrow. And I'm going to add on to this video or an update on packages. It's a sweater for a water bottle. Hot water bottle! So hopefully, because I've noticed things about trailers. Like they have two doors, close one and the other. They don't overlap, they butt up to, they, they butt up to each other. And they'll have this plastic seal on one side that keep drafts out, bugs out, whatever. I don't know. Stuff. But if you have one uh, closed, you could probably open the, the first door. You just you wouldn't have to force it. And every, and every different, there's like several types of door handles, and some go better with locks, some don't. And then if they stick their stupid deadbolt lock or bolt seal on there, they're, um, I think, aluminum and plastic. And maybe there's some fiber in there. Two, one big guy or me and a girl my size can take bolt cutters and cut it open. So, what's the, what's the guy going to do that has all night, right? 
So the bristles don't get busted up. Oh, some first aid stuff. Chapstick. Chapstick. Oh, those are the little packages. I have more. 